Welcome back. In the last video, we showed the basics of Explain Everything, and we talked about some of the tools it had and the basis of what they did. Today, we're actually going to start putting together a very simple project. We're going to add some video, we'll add some text, and we'll arrange some things on the slide. So, the first thing I'm going to do is open up my Explain Everything app, and discard my last project, and I'm going to tap on the plus sign to create a new project. Again, I'll use the basic template. And I'm going to um, create a project that describes how to open up a Dell computer. So the first thing I'll do is maybe I'll add some text. And I'll, once I tap on the A tool and tap on my screen, I get a text box. And I can type working, let's see, working with a Dell computer. And again, if I want to, I can stretch that, I can make it smaller, and I can change the orientation, make it center or right justified by using those buttons up here. Um, when I'm done, I can hit the check, and it goes back. Now, if I want to move that text around, I have to use the Move tool up here, and I can move that around the screen like that. Okay. Now I'm going to add a picture. So I'm going to go down to my plus, the one with the plus sign, and I'm going to insert, again, if I can use existing photos or files, or I can take new ones with my camera. I'm going to, I already have one, so I'm going to use an existing photo or video. And it's going to open my camera roll. So I'm going to go ahead and open the camera roll, look at some pictures I've taken, and I'll take this one all the way over here, which shows the back of the computer. Now before it inserts it, it gives me a chance to modify it a little bit. So maybe I don't want the whole image, maybe I want to crop it. So I can use the crop tool to kind of just draw a box around just the piece I want. So I can use that crop tool to get just that piece maybe. I could use the, the, like the lasso tool to get a more irregular shaped. And then this would then ro uh, rotate the the uh, image. So, but the, for right now I'm okay, so I'm going to click done, and it's just going to insert that uh, or crop it for me. And if I want to do any further editing, I can do that. But I'm going to click done again or tap done, and now it's in there. Once it's on there, I can still by using two fingers. I'm using two fingers to kind of rotate and shrink or enlarge the picture. And again, I'm using that two fingers. Okay, so I can put that up here. Now you notice it starts to cover my text a little bit. So one of the other things I can use is this eye tool. And by holding down the eye tool, once it's held down, I can tap on an image. It gives me a lot of options that I can do. Um, I can actually send it to the back. So now it's behind my text. So I can arrange objects that way. All right. And again, we know it's kind of hard to read. We can change that later. But that's how you would arrange objects if you had a lot of objects on the slide. Um, okay, that's uh, how to get text and pictures on. The other thing you can do is actually record um, audio onto your presentation. Down here is the record button, and I'm going to use that to create a, a short introduction. So let me, I'm going to tap that record button. And now as I'm speaking, I'm recording on my iPad, and you can see the timer is timing how long I'm speaking for. And I can then press pause. And if I want to hear it back, and now as I'm speaking, I'm recording on my iPad, and you can see the timer is timing how long I'm speaking for. And I can... The other thing you can do is, as you're recording, you can actually move items around the screen and it'll record that movement. And let's do that on the next slide and we'll show you to do that next time. So thanks for watching.